Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Today we'll talk about how likely it is that the Fed would employ XRP. This would mean that the stable coin game will continue, and that big US shops will start accepting cryptocurrencies. First, we have the Federal Reserve. Maybe the Fed will put XRP to use. The question is becoming more important in the cryptocurrency industry, especially when it comes to digital currencies issued by central banks. Some have speculated that the US Federal Reserve may include XRP, a cryptocurrency, into its operations after receiving numerous proposals for its usage and a public survey concerning CBDCs. How did the Federal Reserve become aware about XRP? In their public questionnaire, the Federal Reserve sought insights into the risks, benefits, privacy concerns, and other aspects of CBDC adoption. XRP, with its capabilities and ability to facilitate instant cross-border payments and settlements, was highlighted as a possible role in shaping CBDCs. A clear indication of the technological benefits of XRP is the fact that the survey centered on its potential usage in the digital currency ecosystem. Position on Cryptocurrency by the Federal Reserve The Federal Reserve is currently investigating the potential advantages and disadvantages of CBDCs, but has not yet taken a final decision on their adoption. Among the things we're looking into is the possibility of a CBDC improving the robust and safe domestic payment system in the United States. Based on its research on CBDCs, the Federal Reserve seems willing to consider XRP and similar digital currencies as part of its framework if they fit in with its goals. Possible Outcomes Should the Federal Reserve Decide to Use XRP XRP rapid settlements could be adopted by the Federal Reserve in many scenarios. Instant settlements in a CBDC framework could be made possible by XRP's speed and efficiency in processing transactions. International Financial Dealings XRP's history of successfully facilitating cross-border payments suggests it could serve as a medium of exchange for CBDC-related international transactions. Data Compatibility Expert Opinions, Market Forecasts, and Future Insights might be improved by XRP's capacity to interface with different payment platforms, which would increase the CBDC's interoperability and guarantee smooth transactions across numerous networks. Many people have strong feelings about the prospect of the Federal Reserve utilizing XRP. Proponents of technological advancement and certain professionals in the field have pointed out the ways in which XRP might help solve technological problems, like providing efficient offline features for CBDCs. James Hughes said the Federal Reserve should be welcoming of XRP and other cryptocurrencies with an open mind, putting the spotlight on consumer agency and new ideas. The offline capabilities of XRP and its ability to enable seamless point-of-sale transactions were emphasized by Ryan Hanna. Kenneth was as an alternative to more conventional methods. Walker highlighted the efficiency and low cost of XRP in settling cross-border payments. Detractors and doubters Some others are still wary and don't see the need for the Federal Reserve to accept XRP and other cryptocurrencies. In light of concerns about consumer privacy and security as well as the possible effects on the structure of the U.S. financial system, the Federal Reserve has taken a measured approach in its discussion paper on CBDC's outlook on the future There seems to be an increasing trend of mentioning XRP in conversations on the Federal Reserve CBDC goals, which could mean that government financial strategies are starting to take cryptocurrency into account. To facilitate communication between public chains and CBDCs, Luke Kigi suggested XRPL as an underlying technology. Ernest Shackleton has voiced his belief in XRP's capacity to enable cross-platform payment processing, ripples, growth, and partnerships. Partnerships with big financial heavyweights and tech companies are just a few examples of Ripple's strategic moves that show its increasing influence in the financial sector. Collaboration with organizations like MasterCard for an XRP debit card indicates to its growing usefulness in ordinary financial transactions, and these partnerships, together with Ripple's technical developments, may strengthen the argument for XRP's position in the Federal Reserve CBDC ambitions. The XRP ledger and other aspects of Ripple's technology have received high praise for its dependability and efficiency. Adding value to XRP is its attractiveness to financial organizations such as the Federal Reserve. Are you familiar with the essence of this? 
Bank reserves for cross-border payments and federal system reserves cannot be strong, should tend toward zero, and be tied to something more stable and fundamental, as I said in a previous video. This could be one reason why XRP is now the least volatile cryptocurrency and is standing still. For this one special event, maybe they want to turn XRP into another well-capitalized, stable coin. Eventually, I believe we will witness Ripple make a new, more volatile token for regular people and investors, or they will make a stable coin for all these reserves and payments, and XRP will be able to grow freely like other altcoins. As a tool for cross-border payments and a token for reserves, increasing at 400%, it's hard to have a handle on it all at once. However, if they do nothing with XRP, they will be forced to pick between the development of the ecosystem and the community as a whole or the stability of banks, reserves, and payments. Here are my views on the subject. I won't claim this will happen exactly, but it could. Next up, the news. A prominent U.S. retailer is expected to take Ripple's in 2024, according to Ripple. Head of International Affairs and Audacious Forecast was made by Rob Grant, who claims that a prominent U.S. retailer will allow crypto sales by the year's end. With the first batch of spot Bitcoin ETFs nearly ready to launch in the next few months, market sentiment is very buoyant as we enter the new year in the cryptocurrency industry. As of now, 2024 is being heralded by many. When cryptocurrency becomes widely used in the next year, Wave's head of international affairs like you, Rob Grant has made some daring projections for the new industry in the new year. A prominent U.S. retailer is expected to accept cryptocurrency payments, according to one prediction. If the forecast pans out, it will be a watershed moment in the history of cryptocurrency acceptance. The asset's primary use case, which revolves around payments, would be facilitated by this, as their speculative value has mostly surpassed it. That stands out, the wave even while he has hinted at some large US stores being interested in accepting cryptocurrency, the VP of policy has been mum on which ones. Also, Rob Grant was mum on the subject of whether or not the shift will see Ripple reverting to XRP or whether or not the business is looking into possible collaborations in this area. Still, the fact that Ripple's main offering is XRP-based worldwide payment facilitation is well known. This kind of widespread acceptance might, then, incorporate XRP and raise the cryptocurrency's profile in the eyes of the general public. Even beyond native cryptocurrencies, CBDC is making its way into Ripple's. According to the VP of Global Policy, CBDCs are expected to be introduced in 2024. The technology is already being tested by numerous central banks worldwide, some of whom are working with Ripple. The G7 nations, which Rob Grant predicts will be added to the CCBDC next year, consist of the US, UK, Canada, Italy, France, Germany, Japan, and the EU, among others. According to the Ripple official, a new era of government-backed currencies would be ushered in if one of these nations were to introduce a CBDC. The market overview is next. We are currently moving to the right as Bitcoin continues to consolidate. Dominance has declined significantly and is now about 52%. There was a tiny push to the downside, but it was swiftly purchased back. This is a positive aspect of altcoins, since many of them offer a respectable 40% to 50% return. For our period, XRP should go forward. Following the squeeze, the liquidity removed in an impulse of 9% from 0.648 and the candle closed above 0.6336 up to 0.6639, it appears to be a promising continuation. We must first establish a foothold above this level, before attempting to climb as high as 0.6944. Since the deadline for accepting or rejecting applications for spot Bitcoin ETFs is January 10, we shall know the future of the crypto market on this day. Until then, maybe Bitcoin and altcoins will continue to expand. I will provide you with an update tomorrow and keep you posted. It will all work out perfectly if you don't get caught up in the highs. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.